So, you want to move to Seattle, or you're thinking about moving to Seattle. Well, I'm Kelly. Hi. I have been living here for four years, and I'll be answering a few questions for you. So hopefully, it'll help you make your decision about moving to Seattle or not. So a quick overview of my story before we get started with the questions. So four years ago, I moved here from Southern California. I grew up in Southern California, born and raised, and went to college there. Then after getting married, my husband and I wanted to move to the city to kind of experience city life. So we decided on Seattle because we had some family and friends here and we would still be on the same coast as our family in Southern California. And also we just loved the city plus all of the surrounding nature nearby so we could go camping and hiking and stuff. Okay, so the first question is, how do you like living in Seattle? I love it. Even after four years of living here, I still love it a lot. Like even coming out here to Gasworks Park on this type of day, like show me the exact reason why I love this city because you have all of this nature, like people enjoying the lake and stuff with the city life in the background. Yeah, I think Seattle is just like the perfect balance of city and nature. The people here love doing outdoorsy activities like camping, hiking, backpacking, climbing, biking, boating, like anything outdoorsy. I also love just being able to walk everywhere. I grew up in the suburbs of Southern California, so I relied on my car a lot, but it's nice being able to rely on public transportation or walking and stuff when I'm in the city. I also love the weather here. So next let's talk about Seattle's weather. And the question is, does it actually rain all the time? And my answer is no, it does not rain all the time. It is gray pretty frequently, sometimes with some sprinkling rain, most of the time without. Like on my way here today, it was raining a bit, but not enough to go home. And I was just wearing this, no umbrella or rain jacket or anything. Oh no, Noel woke up. Okay, I'll have to continue this later. <laughs> So I really like Seattle's weather because you do get to experience every season, but it's like a mild version of each season, not too extreme. You get to do all the different seasonal activities too. And even though Seattle does have a lot of gray and like rainy days, that's what allows everything to be so green and you get so many flowers and stuff during spring. <laughs> Thanks cameraman. Something else that helps too about Seattle's weather is I think just like having the right mindset around it, knowing that like all of the rain, all of the gray days and like the winter and everything like that will bring beautiful summers, like being able to see the mountains so clearly or just having like super green plants everywhere is another way to look at why Seattle's weather is so good. Okay, let's talk about city living. So the first question is, how does the high cost of living affect your lifestyle and also is rent expensive? Well, I'll answer the rent question first. So I feel like rent is pricier here. From apartments.com, I have the numbers here. The average studio in Seattle is 1580 and the average one bedroom in Seattle is 2158. So those are just averages. You could probably find cheaper neighborhoods. Also, Seattle has some like affordable housing programs and they also have micro apartments, which are more affordable options. If you're curious to know like other rent prices, you can look at apartments.com and then about how the cost of living affects my life. I would say most of the time we eat at home just because it can be pricey eating out a lot in the city. The next question is, do you feel safe living here? Yeah, so I do feel pretty safe living here. I walk around pretty much every day to do all my daily errands. I walk to work. If I do have to walk home and it's already dark, then I'll usually opt for an Uber or Lyft just so I'm not walking alone in the dark. And then just in general, when walking around the city, I try to walk like with purpose and uh, just be a little bit safe about it. If I'm listening to music or a podcast or something, I'll just have one AirPod in my ear and I won't be distracted by my phone. There is obviously crime in Seattle, unfortunately, but the crime rate is relatively low compared to other US cities. We've had our car broken into back at the parking garage in our previous apartment. Thankfully, nothing was stolen and the car wasn't stolen either. So violent crime does exist, unfortunately. Thankfully, I haven't witnessed any of it, but it does happen like I see it in the news and it has happened in the area surrounding where we live. The last question is, do you have a car? And we do have a car. We just have one car that Anthony primarily uses when he goes to work. Uh, we'll also use it when we need to do anything outside of the city, 
like go to Seafood City, visit friends, if we want to go hiking or camping or something, or if we just want to go to further areas of the city. Like sometimes on weekends, we'll go to like a bakery and take Manny, and then we'll like go on a walk and stuff after that. So that's when we usually use the car. So let's talk about friends. The question is, did you know anyone here before moving? And the answer is yes, I did. I had two cousins living here, cousins that I grew up with, and then also a few friends from college. So that helped a lot. And basically everyone that we know now are either those friends from Southern California that moved here, or we met them through the friends that we already knew. Like my brother-in-law was able to meet people very organically. So he met a friend at a bar and then basically was like introduced to his whole friend group. So that's how he met a bunch of people here in the city. <laughs> so we had another friend who met one of our other friends through Bumble BFF and we're still in touch with her today. So it's definitely doable to move to the city and meet friends without knowing anybody beforehand. And then the next question is, does the Seattle freeze exist? And in my experience, I don't think it does. So let's talk about the job situation. So the question is, did you find a job first and then move or move and then find a job? And for me, I actually had my job situation figured out before moving. I originally was gonna be working remotely for the company that I was first working for, but I had already been interviewing for some Seattle-based positions. And on my way up to Seattle for our move was when I got an offer for my position based here in Seattle. So short answer is I had my job first and then moved. But we made the decision to move basically once Anthony got his job offer because we had one. So then from there, we would just figure out what my job situation would be. And thankfully, it did all work out well. Also something nice about Washington is there's no state income tax, so you save a bit of money there. Okay, so let's talk about moving. So the question is, was there a rough transition or like a rough period that you had after you moved here? And there was a point where I really did like miss my friends back at home in Southern California, especially my girlfriends. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the people that we knew up here were a bunch of dudes and everyone else that we met were a bunch of dudes. So I did try to go on Bubble BFF and like meet some girlfriends through there. That wasn't really successful and I didn't really do anything to kind of like explore that further. But what ended up working out was from the girlfriends that we did know, I just ended up becoming closer to them. And now I feel like I have my close group of girlfriends up here. And then the next question is, do you have any helpful tips for people moving here? So if you do have time while you're first here, or maybe before you move everything up here, try to get like an Airbnb or like a hotel or something, or stay with a friend if you know people up here and just explore the different neighborhoods, see the different kind of areas you like and the vibe you get from all of them and see how long they take for your commute to work or school. And that's what we did. We stayed at an Airbnb. I think we had it for a month, but we only ended up staying there for about two weeks or so while we were apartment hunting. And that helped us like explore the different neighborhoods and decide on the one that we liked best. So a few last questions to kind of wrap all of this up. So do you ever feel like it'll be the perfect time to move or should you just take the leap? So I feel like it's kind of a balance of both. Like you want it to be the perfect time with your personal life and like all the relationships, making sure they're okay with you moving, but also making sure you have your job and like financial situation all sorted. But in terms of like taking the leap, you can do that whenever. Like you can start applying to jobs now, even if you're not really ready to move yet because really you don't have to make the decision to move until you have a job offer. I mean, obviously you have to be kind of like leaning towards wanting to move here just in case. And especially if you're going to invest so much time in interviewing and all that stuff. But yeah, you can just take the leap with applying now and then seeing what comes of it. So the last question is, do you have any advice or information to keep in mind during this decision-making process that you wish you knew when moving or did know and find beneficial? So everything I mentioned in this video obviously is helpful, but something that my cousin said that I think was pretty helpful was, you know, moving isn't 
a permanent decision. Obviously it's a big decision and takes some time to undo if you decide you don't like it here, but it's not permanent. If you do end up moving and then decide like maybe Seattle isn't the place for you, you can always move back or move to another city that you think would fit your style or like what you're looking for more. So if you want a couple other resources to help you make the decision, I have a video about my experience of living in Seattle after one year. So I'll have that in the description box and the cards. I also have a video with Monica Church where she interviewed me and two other people talking about our experience moving here and living here. Um, I'll also have that in the description box. And then also for those of you who live here who are watching this video, please, I would encourage you to leave your comments to like your answers to these questions in the comments below. I feel like it would be really nice if the whole comment section was another resource for people to kind of help them see other perspectives and stuff. Cause obviously mine is just my own story. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Check out my channel if you like this type of content and I will see you in my next one. Bye.